Why'd you do that? I just finished up this project in one of my clients' forests, and it occurs to me that if anyone in the world were to walk in here and see this, it'd be so hard to understand how this could be something positive for this forest. So what I wanna do is to take you through the decision-making process that led to this. This client is not motivated by income. What they do want is to create really great habitat and to contribute to an ecologically functional landscape. Now, it just happens that basically their entire forest was a pasture 60 years ago, and it's all these really unhealthy white pine trees like this. White pine is an opportunist, good at growing in these old fields. And actually, in this context, it's what we call a successional species. It's not a species that's going to be a big part of this forest in the long term. I'm an Audubon endorsed forester. A forester carries an endorsement specifically for managing forests for great bird habitat. To maintain habitats for all of our native bird species, we have goals to have a certain proportion of different forest ages and types within each 2,500 acre area. One of these habitat types is what we call a young or early successional forest. These are forests that have experienced a relatively large scale natural disturbance within the last 20 years. We want three to five percent of every 2,500 acre block on the landscape being that young forest or early successional condition. And within the 2,500 acre area that this parcel's in, there's less than 1% of that early successional habitat. It happens that in this landowner's forest, most of it has these really wet, sensitive soils that would be basically impossible to access, except for there was this one 15 acre area that had dry soils. And I said, well, this could be a really good place to facilitate the creation of that early successional forest while also allowing these successional processes to happen on their own schedule elsewhere on the property. Even though this white pine was unhealthy, the white pine saw logs were still valuable. So suddenly this became not a project where a landowner would have to pay somebody to come in here and cut these trees and create these habitat, but this is a commercial project. We're actually selling wood, generating local renewable resources as a byproduct of this work. So I know that this looks scary and jarring and sad. For me, this is a success story.